and this video is all about mnemonic i want you to learn abc model of flowering and the flower floral identity genes uh, quite easily within 5 minutes so this video is just for you for the uh, last minute preparation for cs and this uh, in your this phd in trans examinations you can go with so i will teach you the abc model of flowering which is very easy but the most important thing are the floral identity genes okay floral meristem identity genes that are out there okay so for that i have a simple mnemonic to share and i'll tell you uh, which mnemonic it is so let let me uh, let me take a color and write down that a p i a g a n o s api aganos this is something that you need to remember okay although this is nothing uh, like th this word don't have any meaning but uh, it has many information hidden here that will help you to understand the floral ident uh, floral meristem identity genes okay api aganos this is what you need to remember along with that obviously what else you need to remember is the abc model of flowering and that is simple a b c d and e also but mainly the abc part of it that you need to remember so i can explain the abc model very clearly without any uh, delay so i can explain that let's say this is a gene in blue color uh, let's imagine that this is the c gene in green color and let's say the b gene in uh, red color so this is something that we have so what else so what we have here is the four different segments out there okay so the first segment is a only the second segment is a plus b the third segment is b plus c and the last segment is c only so this is simple right so and the combination of this a a plus b b plus c and c uh, results in different worlds the combination of them uh, will give rise to different worlds of the flower and they are sepal petal stamen carpel s p s c s p s c this is how easy it is to remember you can remember that that is abc model of flowering for you very easy but this is something uh, that is important for csr net but one more thing is important that is the name of the different genes that are related to this floral uh, meristem identity not only just a b c but the name of different kind of genes apetella pistillata right so all these different names so for that we have this api agnos this particular uh, term for you where we have ap for this is the ap1 the first one okay ap1 okay uh, then the second one is this pi this is pistillata okay so apetella1 pistillata then third one is agamos okay agamos uh, then we have two more and this is nothing so no means no there is no particular genes there and septalata at the end sepalata sorry sepalata at the end okay so these are the different genes so this is how you can remember api agnos let me write down the name of all these genes quite clearly in here all right so <clears throat> you know the abc model of flowering i already told you the name of the genes arbitrarily now i'm going to tell you the name of the genes in details starting with this first one ap ap1 the full form of this gene is apetala1 okay the second gene that is out there is pi pi for pistillata so pis t Double L A T A pistillata. The third one that we have is A G A, A G. That is agamos, agamos gene. And the last one, the fourth one here. This one is no. That means no gene is there. S for. So here we have sepalata. Okay. So we have these four different genes. now the question is assigning the function of these genes to which particular floor uh, uh, world of the flower because we know we have four worlds sepal petal stamen carpel this is how it's done the same thing happens from here okay so this one so let me change the color with red this one is with sepal petal so ape apetella one is responsible for the world sepal and petal the pistillata is responsible for 
So, SP, then we have SC uh, that is uh, related here, P and S. Petal and stamen that they are responsible for. Agamos is responsible for stamen and carpal and then septala responsible for again sepal petal. Okay, so both are similar. And how to remember this? How to arrange this? S plus P, P plus S, S plus C and last again S plus P. So in combination S plus P, the next one P plus S, the next one S plus C. And the last one again P plus S. This is how easy it is to arrange and remember not only the ABC model of flowering and the words that this ABC category of genes are responsible but also the different genes that are responsible to assign the identity of sepal, petal, stamen or carp carpal to a particular world of the flower while it's developing. That's how easy it is. I believe you understood this within 5 minutes. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video and watch the complete series of mnemonics because it's going to be super helpful for your preparation of CS standard examination, gate examination, ICMR, GRF and any other PhD examination. Thank you. Bye.